Hey guys, Vegas Pro, tutorial number 7, masking videos. Through this tutorial we will use features like the cookie cutter, the vent anchor tool, the anchor creation tool to mask areas of videos and create effects like this. Hey, I'm B, video producer at Refinery29 with a side hustle as a professional organizer. I'm here today because Courtney told me that she's dealing with too many roommates and a small bathroom. Hi, B, it's Courtney. I'm here with my roommate, Mariu. She's doing her makeup. I have to go to the bathroom. Della just got up. Come on, let's do this. Remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, down in the video description, you will find a link to our full Vegas Pro tutorial playlist. If you click on that link, YouTube will take you to the full Vegas Pro tutorial we are being creating. So let's come back and open Vegas Pro. And let's import a background video. Go to File, Import Media, and let's use this one. Open, go to the project media panel, click and drag it to the timeline. I don't want to change the project settings. Let's position the marker and preview this. This will be the background video. Let's overlay another video. File, import, media, and let's use this video. Open, now right click, insert video track, click, drag it. And as you can see, this video is covering the other video. Remember, in Vegas Pro, the videos in an upper track covers, conceals videos in an lower track. Let's preview this. Henry 29 with a side hustle as a professional organizer. Well, you can also adjust the position of the tracks. This is the moon video track, and you can click and drag it up a little. And if you position it first, then you will see the moon. If you position it at the second track, you will see the girl. The idea of the tutorial is to apply some masking to this video. Uh, but first, let's set the duration of these two videos to be the same. Let's position the marker at the end of the moon video. Let's use the split tool. Click on that. Right click. And delete. Now this is our video. Position the marker over it. I want to see her face and the see behind. Come here to the main navigation panel, click on video effects, and then select cookie cutter, this one. There are many. If you hover the cursor over it, you will see what kind of effects it has. I would like to do this three times, so I'm going to split this video in three parts. Position the marker over it, a split, over this. A split. I'm gonna apply the cookie cutter in this area, in this area, and in this area, one by one, so we can practice a little. Let's start by this one. Position the marker and click here. What about this one? The default effect. You click and drag it to the video. It's that simple. This pop-up window appear. You can adjust its size, its position, so you can preview this. The default is like a circle, so you can see the two videos. You can watch the girl speaking and still watch the other video behind. Let's close this window and now let's preview this. Play this. Hey, I'm the video producer at Refinery29 and with a side hustle as a professional organizer. The effect has only been applied to this area. You can adjust this effect. How? You come here to this icon, Event Effects, click on that and the pop-up window will appear again. There are many adjustments, many controls you can use to customize this effect. Like its size, look, like this, its position, you click here in this drop-down arrow, and adjust its position, like this. I would like to see her face. You can use feather, and let's preview this. We close, position the marker, and let's play this. Hey, I'm B, video producer at Refinery29 with a side hustle as a professional organizer. I'm here. Now let's try some other cookie cutter effects. What about this square? Let's apply this to this area, to this short clip of the video. You click on that and drag it to the video. Appears the pop-up window. 
and appears the effect. You can position this window as we did before. Let's adjust the position this way. And let's check the other controls, like this one, method. Could away all of the video, but section. Could away all box section. You can change that to could away section. Then this will happen. This time, could away all by section. You can pick another shape. This is a square. What about an oval? What about adjusting its borders this way? No border, a small border, big border, as you want. And you can close this. Let's check another. What about this one, picture in picture? Let's click and drag it to this, the last short clip. Click and drag there, drop there. To watch this clip, you need to position the marker over it. Now we're watching it. This is the picture in picture effect. You can position it by dragging here, this way. Or you could also drag it directly on the preview window, this way. Like this. Adjust its size. Its position. This will let you to split the video. Like this. This is very useful. Let's close this window. Position the marker. And let's preview this. Mariu, she's doing her makeup. I have to go to the bathroom. Della just got out of the shower. We all have somewhere to so, this is basically how the cookie cutter effects work. You go to the main navigation panel, click on Video Effects tab, then search for the cookie cutter effect. You click on that and you will see a variety of many cookie cutter effects, big as pro features. To apply one, just click on that and drag it to the desired clip. This is the first way to apply a masking. There is other way, using the Event Pancrap tool. Now we want to use the Bend Pancrop tool to create effects. First, let's undo the effects we have just created with the cookie cutter. How to do that? Clip by clip, let's undo this effect, this effect in this clip, and this one. How? You go to Event Effects icon and click there. The pop-up window appears, and any effect you had applied to this clip will be listed here. In this case, only the cookie cutter. Let's disable that. Click on the square and the effect disappears and close this. Now it's completely normal. The upper video is covering the video beneath it. Let's do the same with this clip. Click on this, click on the event effects icon and let's uncheck the cookie cutter effect. Click and close this. Same here. Click on the clip, event effects and let's disable it. Click and now let's close this. Let's try to create the same effect using this event pancrop tool. Let's start with this clip. Position the marker over it and event pancrop tool. Position the window as you like. And now let's enable this control. Mask. Click on that. And now it's time to max the video. Using this tool. Always remember to drag the cursor, the marker to the beginning. And to make sure to have enabled the sync cursor tool. Now let's check the mask controls. Like this square for example. If you click on that, you just need to come to the preview and draw a rectangle. Automatically you will see only the rectangle. All the area around outside the rectangle will be obscured, concealed. Let's close this and let's preview this. Click. Hey, I'm the video producer at Refinery29 with a side hustle as a professional organizer. That's right. Only applied to this short clip. Let's look at this clip. Let's apply some masking too using the Ben Pancrop tool. All you need to do is come to the Ben Pancrop icon, click on that. Remember the marker to the beginning. Enable mask and then you can use many of these. Let's try this one oval or circle mask. Click on that and draw an oval. Let's close this and let's preview this. Click today because Courtney told me that she's dealing with too many roommates and a small bathroom. You know, let's do the same with this clip. Click on that, then click on the event pancrop tool, position the marker at the beginning, enable the mask controls. And now let's try another tool, like this one, Anchor Creation Tool. You just need to click somewhere, and let's draw like this. Look at this, point after point, and then go to the original point, click there, and this is another very useful, interesting effect, creating videos. Anchor Point, you just create a point, another point, 
and go back to the original point. Close this window and let's preview this. Mariu, she's doing her makeup. I have to go to the bathroom. Della just got out of the shower. We all have somewhere. This feature, the Uncover Creation Tool, is very useful as well when you're working with images. Let's check that. Come back to the Project Media tab, this one, and let's import some images. File, Import, Media, go to Pictures, and let's import two pictures. Like this one, and also this one. Open. So let's use the tree as the background, drag it to the timeline. This green screen picture, let's drag it over it. Position the marker over the picture to watch it. Let's get rid of the green area. You remember how? Go to the video effects. Click on chroma key. Here. Simply click on green screen and drag it to the picture. Adjust it a little. Drag is control. And this is okay. Like this. Let's close this. Now seems like if the girl is in front of the tree. Using the anchor creation tool, we'll try to create an effect. So the girl looks like she's behind the tree. Click on the Event Pancrop tool. Remember always drag the cursor to the beginning. Enable the Max tool. Let's enable the Normality tool. Let's click on the position. And let's move the girl. Look at this. You see, I want to position her behind the tree. Adjust the size a little. This way. Let's rotate it a little like this. Position it and position her like it sits behind the tree. Let's scroll down using the mouse. Increase the size of the screen like this. We just adjust the position. Now let's work on the mask. Click on the mask keyframe to enable the masking. Again, let's enable the anchor creation tool to draw a mask. Look, the tree is around her hair, across her breast, and continues to this place. Let's try to draw that. Click, and let's come to her hair, like this, over her blouse, this way, to her waist. And let's, let's close this. Let's finish to the original point, like this. You see? And this is the effect. We see only this area of the picture. We hide this one. And now seems like if the girl is behind of the tree. This is still a beginner tutorial. We're just starting to understand how these tools work. To get this effect, remember, when adjusting the position, first you need to click on the position keyframe. Then the position widgets will be enabled. Later, when you want to fix the mask, you need to click on the mask keyframe to enable the mask tool. Still a beginner tutorial. This is Lovinson. I hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Hey, I'm B, video producer at Refinery29 with a side hustle as a professional organizer. I'm here today because Courtney told me that she's dealing with too many roommates and a small bathroom. Hi, B, it's Courtney. I'm here with my roommate, Mariu. She's doing her makeup. I have to go to the bathroom. Della just got out of the shower. We all have somewhere.